ho, hello guys. Hi, welcome to Mix. It's time for another weekly roundup and a bit of a special one because I'm obviously wearing a stupid hat. What's that in honor of? Christmas. Yep, that's it. This is um, the best I think I'm going to be able to pull off in terms of a festive weekly roundup. It's kind of a yearly roundup as well. This is probably the last time you'll see me in 2019, so I'm trying to celebrate too hard there. But obviously, Bit of a thank you for making it such an awesome year. Thank you for watching these damn things. And um, obviously to cover some of the bits as a sort of, um, you know, clean sweep on stuff I haven't managed to cover over the last, you know, month, two months as I've been doing videos slightly erratically around Black Friday and prepping for Christmas and all the general craziness that ends the year. Nearly killed me, nearly killed the team, uh, but we have just about pulled it off. We've done the, the last big launch we had this past week. So not only Christmas gifts and bundles and things like that to try and... Um, uh, introduce you to, but we had uh, a yeah, few biggies, and the biggest one of which was the uh, Max Tuning Sour Strips in mango flavor, tropical mango flavor. Max is obviously known for the mango, so that was a big one. Uh, it tied up with, well, we did a global launch, so launched in uh, uh, North America and in the USA, same time as here, and we kind of ship everywhere, so Max has got a lot more stock than us, uh, and obviously a lot more of a following uh, domestically there, but we had quite a few orders to ship, as you might imagine, and of course across the other flavours, but we'll come to that one in a minute. Um, yeah, we've survived all that stuff, basically, and so this is my chance here to, um, yes, give something back to you guys, say thank you, uh, and also to show you some of the new stuff we've got in. Not all of it's festive, but as I record this, it is the uh, Saturday, I think it's Saturday, lost track of the time, Saturday before Christmas, so we've got one more dispatch day to have a chance of getting you stuff, so that's if you're in the UK and not Highlands, so south of Aberdeen and stuff, we can still hook you up, very probably, uh, and that's with uh, DPD. I never like to encourage this too much, because at this point we're all knackered and I'm uh, about ready for Christmas, but also... Um, yeah, all it would take is DPD to mess up or some terrible weather or something and we've ruined Christmas, uh, which I, I hate the idea of. So as far as I'm concerned, we're about done, but new stuff's still coming. So a lot of this I'm going to tell you about now is, is probably more interest uh, for 2020, so we get us off to a good start there. Uh, and the rest, yeah, there's still some Christmassy bits on site and some festive things that you may have missed and there is still a chance to grab by the time I get this video, uh, video up, which will be probably... Sunday morning is when I usually manage it, so there will still be a chance to order if you jump on site right away and order before like 2 p.m. on Monday with DPD. UK Mail DHL might hook you up, First Class Royal Mail might hook you up on the Tuesday, but DPD is probably the best bet. Anyway, sales spiel aside, um, yes, you uh, probably would be correct to be a little afeared because there is an awful lot on this table again, but as I say, not everything merits um, full detail and, and one of my full, um, uh, completely over-the-top analyses. Uh, it's just they're things I haven't mentioned that I meant to. So quite there in the shop, I've actually managed to assemble some of the bits and pieces, mostly new, but other things I wanted to just mention. Okay, so with this in mind, I've got the silly, ridiculously thin tree um, that we're calling a rocket tree, whatever, does the job, stupid hat, double function for the hat, I still haven't managed to get a haircut, so um, it's covering up the uh, this sort of um, hair indiscretion underneath here, but I will sort that, I'll um, kind of get some sleep up uh, over Christmas, recharge over the couple of days we, we snatch back, and um, yeah, I will look more invigorated for 2020, but anyway, um, where do I start? I haven't really prepped this, I mean, we'll probably the We'll go with a new one, launched this week, did quite well on Instagram, but obviously it would do. It is Muscle Farm and uh, their protein candies. So, uh, this was promoted in the week. Um, yeah, we've been waiting for these for a long time. A lot of you guys may have seen these. I'll just jog backwards and forwards. God, it sounds like I've got a cold again. Jog backwards and forwards to the camera to show you some of these bits and pieces. Uh, these are essentially M&M's, because um, they're American, I'm guessing they're shooting more for M&M's, not the peanut variety, but just the, the crispy style ones, uh, or indeed Smarties. So here in the UK, more familiar to us, they're probably closer to M&M's, but you get the idea. Hard, crispy, outer candy shell, and a milk chocolate center. That's the thing, but obviously it's a slightly healthier spin on it, so better macros in terms of lower sugar, but there's 10 grams of protein, they're gluten-free, um, and... Uh, I mean, there's not a lot to show you, you know what you're looking at, what are they, like 200 and... 280 calories a bag, so yeah, not not insignificant. Uh, the sugars are... Okay, you know what, I said they were lower sugar, they ain't that lower sugar. Uh, they're 29 grams of sugar, 
it is 14 grams of fat. Yeah, so it's not fantastic for you, but there are 10 grams of protein, which I can only assume is like, what, four times the protein you typically get in something like this. I'm gonna open some. These are actually very nice. I mean, I, obviously, okay, health-wise, they're not changing the game at all, but uh, they're good novelty in terms of protein candies. Oh, I don't want these going everywhere. Brilliant, I did it. So let's see if I can show you these. They're just the same traditional colored candies you'd expect, M&M style. I put my hand in shot there. Can you see them? Lovely, you've got the bag that, you've already seen it, but there you go, Muscle Farm Protein Candies. Chuck them down. Ah. Yep. They taste kind of like Smarties. Taste like M&Ms. Slight overtone to them, because I think they've used, I might be wrong, pea protein in this? protein bend, uh, pea protein isolate and milk protein concentrate. So <coughs> they are vegetarian, um, I think, now I'm saying it. Yeah, they are vegetarian. The main protein source seems to be pea protein isolate. Sorry, you might wonder why my eyes are watering. I just started choking after I had the, the candies there. So I'm probably gonna exit it out, but there was a protracted period of me dying. <coughs> uh, probably telling me I shouldn't eat more candy right about now because it's been going that way with Christmas. Um, there is a slight overtone, I think. There's a slight savouriness of pea protein that really hits you, but I really don't let that put you off. It's got the crunchy shell, it's got the, the soft chocolatey inner, and it tastes closer to probably Hershey's than Cadbury's, but still a very pleasant chocolatey inner. It gets the idea. It's a, it's a great novelty sort of protein thing. I think in the States, they're actually ahead of us. We just got these. I think they've got two new flavours over there. Like, they're, um, they're a novelty product, as I say, for sure, but pretty cool. Probably a great sort of gifty thing, stocking filler around about now for Christmas. Sadly, they turned up a bit late for us to make a bigger song and dance. But, yeah, in the, in the mix now, uh, and it's a, very, it's a very us kind of thing. So it's very chocolate, very candy. <coughs> oh, still dying. All right, so I am uh, enjoying energy drink of choice today. A brand new one, so we'll, we'll come to this in a sec. But America Energy... Uh, now under the banner of America Snacks, so it's obviously related to America Labs. So it's these guys down here, Doug Miller's stuff, the Red, White & Boom, etc. Uh, well, the Red, White & Boom, indeed. Uh, the energy drink variants are back in stock. It's been months and months and months. We haven't seen a can since May, probably. I, around about Body Power, I think, is when we sold out. Maybe even before then. So we've really missed these. They were very, very popular. Great energy drinks. Um, and we've got two new flavors. They finally come in, Victory and American Classic. But I'll come back to that again. Sorry, jumping backwards and forwards. <coughs> On the candy, let's just stick there. We got the Muscle Farm ones, covered that. So sort of chocolatey candies, M&M thing. We also got Max's candy, as I mentioned earlier. This actual candy, Sour Strips. Here we go, bring it in. Of course, as with all Max's stuff, there's a new, very cute character. A mean mango right there. Um, so this is joining rainbow, strawberry, and blue raspberry. <coughs> and um, yeah, the cool thing about these, uh, to my taste, they, they come in even more sour. They come in even more juicy and fruity. Uh, and that's probably not a surprise, actually, because I did ask Max about this. And I did say, wow, dude, these, these hit really hard. I mean, the other ones are already quite sour, right? But these are even more sour. And uh, he said, ah, yeah, well, so actually, they're naturally flavored. So I know it says artificially flavored candy on the front, but this is the first flavor that's actually naturally flavored. So you can see it in the ingredients. <coughs> But because of that, pretty cool, gives it a, a sharper, more authentically mango taste, which we didn't really expect with these. Uh, and um, yeah, who knows where he takes it from there. But tastes very pleasant. First time I tried them, um, I thought uh, it was a little bit too sharp for me. I'm not a big mango fan. Much prefer, certainly the rainbow's good for me. The blue raspberry's good for me. They are the best selling ones. Uh, so I tried those and I was like, oh, okay, very nice. Max is known for this, right? Because he's got the ghost legend, the mango margarita. Uh, mango is a big thing for him, so frozen candy, uh, frozen candy, frozen cocktails and candy in mango, very, very max, and much anticipation of this, and obviously it tied up with a huge all-flavor restock with him in the States, the biggest yet, sold out in like an hour or something crazy again. So <clears throat> I'm actually going to open some of these, I've got a pack here. Um, so I don't think I've actually opened, enjoyed any of these on camera for you, and you know the idea, enough of you guys watching this have actually bought and tried these at this point, uh, but they're usual kind of candy strips coated in glorious sugar, real sugar here, not exactly a fit fam diety thing. I got some that's all mashed up, there you go. Wow, I've got two together, what's going on? <laughs> candy planning going super well. There you go. Mm. Mm. For you guys who regularly watch this, 
I wonder just how much time you spent. Wow, it is how. I don't. I wonder how much time you spent actually just watching me eat things. Isn't that great? Mmm. Mmm. So mango hits you first off, very very juicy. Almost gets you salivating. It's that, it's that sharp. That's probably the sugar doing it as well. But the authentic mango flavour, really really satisfying. Really hits that kind of sour craving spot if you're really into the sour thing of these strips. Fantastic for that. Mmm. Mm. It's a very sunny, summery flavour. Again, probably doesn't match this time of year brilliantly well, like the ghost banana pancake here. Uh, but a fantastic flavour. And I, the first time I tried it, I thought, that's nice. Not going to be my favourite. I think it actually might be now. So fortunately, I managed to wrestle quite a lot off Max. So we had enough stock to actually ride out the huge wave of orders that came in on Tuesday. And actually, on top of everything, on top of the Christmas orders and on top of having staff on holiday... We actually got every single order out. So, yet again, nearly killed us, and I was packing boxes myself till gone midnight here in the shop, but we made sure everything went out and everyone had their sour strips in time for Christmas. So, yeah, it's kind of key. Candy, Christmas goes really well together, and it was great time for us to get hold of that. Max cut it pretty close at the end of December there, or middle of December, uh, but we pulled it off. That's really sweet. There is a new flavour coming... Uh, a couple of months into the new year. So Max hasn't confirmed to me, but I think that's going to be our next big launch. This, all the other flavours in the mix, uh, are in the mix now, rather. And we actually upped our Sour Strips bundle. I know we got sitting around. No, I didn't plan things that well. So we do an actual candy sour stocking that had three bags in. We actually bumped it to have the four bags in. So you get a bag per flavour. That's still available now on our gifting page. And yet, if you order by 2pm with DPD uh, on Monday... Uh, and you're in the UK, as I said, uh, you should have that in time for Christmas. So they have gone down incredibly well. Great Christmas presents, great stocking fillers, great time of year to enjoy candy, which, to be honest, is not exactly justifiable in any way. It's straight up actual candy. Uh, so it's not a fit fam choice. It's just a great time to eat candy at Christmas anyway. So it works. Anyway, they are in the mix. Um, so thanks for Max. Uh, thanks, Max, for hooking us up. Uh, okay, candy's done. Um... New things. We'll stick with new things first, because that's the more exciting thing for you. Obviously, I'm behind on the launch. That's obviously been and kind of gone. These have been launched on Instagram as well, so I am playing catch-up. Drinks, though, as I said. Red wine, boom. I'll bring these in quickly. Um, I think Doug has actually, for all the cans, reworked them a little bit. The colouring seems bolder. The finish is nicer. So very, very slick in general. They've all got these um, American kind of hero uh, characters as mascots in all the cans. He does that all the time. American Classic, so I should say the Victory I've got here, that's Cream Soda, and American Classic is, boom, there you go, is Cherry Cola, who's on that one, there you go, <coughs> is that Kennedy, I don't know, um, right, those two are in the mix as the new flavours, we have lost, I'll say now, we've lost American Made, which I think is the straight up orange one, that's a perfectly nice one, but I suppose it wasn't quite as jazzy as the other one, so Doug probably thought that one could go by the wayside, and indeed two new flavours have just been launched in the States, um, Justice and Liberty, and I think it's black, black cherry and pink lemonade, something like that, um, either way, yeah, hopefully we'll have them soon enough, they look great, uh, got these for now, classic, classic flavours, I think cherry, I would like to say cherry soda, um, oh God, where's my head at? I would like to say cream soda is a British thing. It sounds like quite a traditional British thing, like dandelion and burdock. Um, I'm not sure it is. Maybe the Americans beat us to the punch on that one. Uh, with sodas and things, they were certainly bigger on that. So maybe, who knows? Either way, I, I always associate this as kind of an old school British drink. <clears throat> but done America Lab style, it is bold. It is really bold. So these are not the fizziest of energy drinks, but I mean, there is some, there is some um, effervescence there. There is some life to it. Uh, and it is very, very sweet. Both of these flavors are really sweet, actually, even more so than I remember on the other ones. This is basically vanilla. So it's a very sweet vanilla, yeah, cream sort of flavor. Uh, and I almost get a twist of cotton candy. That might be like candy floss type things, like similar to the flavour systems we get in some of the things, uh, like the PES cotton candy flavour, a bit like that. I think it might just be the level of sweetness, though. So that combined with the kind of nondescript vanilla cream flavour works out to be kind of, you know, like a sweet one. I mean, it tastes very full, very robust, very explosive. So I wouldn't have expected any less of Doug and these drinks. So we're big, big fans of them, and the texture of them is great. We love the new uh, the nootropic thing in there. That's the real novelty. So it's about 200 milligrams of caffeine a can, which is a nice hit. It's about the same as 3D, a little bit more than Monster, same as Rain. 
Um, but the they add uh, choline in there. So yeah, it's like L-carnitine and one or two other bits and pieces, but the thing you'll actually notice as a difference is the nootropic boost you get from the choline. So yeah, that's very nice as well. A little bit of focus, a little bit of mood boosting on top of just the caffeine, obviously rides out any crash. So yeah, big feature of these drinks. Um, and they're all sugar-free as well, I should say. The cherry cola is, again, really, really strong, really, really bold. Not a flavor that's often attempted in energy drinks. We don't have many other like it. There was a Hyde Power Potion one, but I can't say I liked it at all. Theirs is definitely loads nicer. I would just say it's um, it's going to probably be a Marmite one. We'll wait to see. The reviews haven't really come in because they've not been up for very long. But I think if you like Cherry Cola, you're going to love this one. If you're on the fence about it and you pick one up every now and then, you'll probably find it too much. That's more the camp I'm in. I much prefer the cream soda here, but the Cherry Cola... Right, Marcus on the team certainly absolutely loved it. He's been flying through the cans. Um, I almost get uh, aniseed off it. it it's, it's, it's odd because it, in theory that, that shouldn't really be in the in the flavour at all. Although that said, cherry cola, the original cola recipe, the the sort of robust syrupy one that it was back in the day, rather than sort of the watered down Diet Coke experience we're used to now, uh, probably was more like that. It was probably closer to sort of a Dr Pepper style fullness to it than it is uh, enjoyed uh, at the moment. But I'd say it's probably quite traditional, quite authentic, quite bold. Again, very, very cool and stands out for this range of drinks on top of the unusual formula in these drinks. So all flavors are in the mix now, barring American uh, made. So the orange one and they're in our uh, lock and load mixed case bundle and stuff as well. So grab them while we have them. Hopefully they'll now stick around. Uh, but certainly the new flavors are worth a try. This is something we've been playing on a little bit, actually caffeine at Christmas, uh, because aside from yes, candy you're going to have, yes, chocolate you're going to have, I always find Christmas pretty tiring. So I'm, I'm tired now going into it, which isn't great. That's uh, that's business for you. I mean, you know, lives get busy and hectic and families and the rest. But uh, yeah, all the, the occasions and stuff you have to do, obviously panicking about gifts, wrapping them in time, kind of trying to make Christmas perfect is very very tiring and um, I end up drinking an awful lot of usually coffee but yeah I will reach for the odd energy drink around Christmas as well looks a bit odd at the Christmas dinner table but uh, you know whatever gets you through the day and um, yeah we've got plenty of these in in time we got the new rays fairly recently and we just got a big restock whew, on the paradise monster so that was one we were asked for a lot I think for gifting purposes uh, but we got that in just in time so that's the kind of watermelon -y. it's mainly apple but there's a sort of watermelon exotic twist to it so that's in the mix now as well while stocks last we didn't get so much of that okay where am i at <sighs> done candy done um america energy done uh, i'll mention the quest let's stick with snacks i'm going to show you one more thing just to, to keep this exciting how long have i been doing this uh 25 minutes probably i don't know um Okay, Quest, nothing exciting and new has launched as yet, but they are reworking things. This is actually cool to see because obviously I've done Quest here for a very long time and they have on and off done different formulations for the EU. At the moment, there are several flavors, roughly half of them, that are actually made in the EU, which is kind of great. It means there's good availability. The trade-off, and obviously the labeling makes sense and everything, the trade-off is that uh, some of them just aren't as good to me as the US counterpart. So they've had to change certain bits and pieces. And I, you know, I just prefer the formula we did have, like the cookie dough, for example, one of my all time favorite bars. I'm just not that big a fan of the European one, the one we have at the moment. So it's, it's a bit of a shame because I, I just find myself not eating that one so often. It is popular. People still buy it. People must like it because a lot of them go out, but I miss the original one. Um, on the flip side, Certain flavors are slightly better here. I mean, this is I mean, this is an American one I'm talking, but the hazelnut underneath is a better one, I'll say. And um, I like the EU s'mores. That that worked out pretty well. I mean, I, for a while I missed the American one, but the EU one, it's got the same hallmarks of it, and I just find it a little bit softer, a little bit fresher, and that will happen with the with the EU bars. That was pretty cool. Um, the what else was pretty nice the mocha i was a big fan of the eu mocha that to me was nicer than the american one um and whatever we'll, we'll start with the american one here but it the all this is to say they are making certain things in the eu at the moment which in general is a good thing for compliance availability freshness and the rest uh, and they are uh, not only bringing uh, more bars into the eu kind of factory or however wherever they're making them uh, but they are actually improving the ones that they have already done. So I think they're responding to feedback, which is pretty cool. I just tried a new uh, oatmeal 
chop chip that came back in. So this is one that's been EU for a while. We had some problems with it, some problems with them with them going uh, moldy early, which is a bit scary. Uh, but uh, obviously I think they're fixed in. Not only that, the latest bar I just opened uh, actually had more distinguishable oats in it and stuff, more chunks in it. I was very impressed, more full uh, cinnamon flavor. So I'm not sure what they've done to it, but uh, an improvement again. So I'm seeing this more and more. And the latest thing they've kind of overhauled in general are the Quest cookies. These were never the most popular things for us, but three flavors have just reappeared uh, and I would definitely say they are better, and in fact I think they've got better nutritionals as well, made here in the EU. So I'm going to show you one of them. Go on, I'll actually open it because I'll eat this anyway, and I'm getting close to Christmas. I, um, I just give up on my willpower right now. We've got Choc Chip. So to look at, they don't look all that different. On the inside though, uh, definitely more Choc Chips going on. It's a different cookie. It's, it's a little bit fatter. The other ones, I'm not even in shot, sorry. <laughs> um, it's a little bit fatter. It's, it's kind of between a cookie and a protein bar, these things, but just it, that does not look like the American ones oh, used to look like. You see the chop chips in there. The American ones before were kind of battered out thinner than this. This is definitely fatter. It kind of looks like a protein cake that's been zapped in the microwave and it's collapsed in on itself a little bit, but it's got squidginess. It's got the texture kind of of a protein bar crossed with a cookie, but it's actually very pleasant. And for the macros as well, I think it works out nicely. Obviously it heats up, gets even softer, but Enough of me talking. You can see it looks like a kind of cookie splat. Lots of chips in it. It's a bit, you see, very crumbly. Look at that. Oh, huge chips in it. So you can see, oh, what am I doing? You can see what I mean. That is, that is definitely an improvement there. Um, it's a very light, airy. It's falling apart all over the place. It's quite a, mm. It tastes different, but the same at the same time. Like, they've kept it faithful, but I do prefer what they've done. Mm. They've done here. It's lighter, it's got less of a sort of sweetness, sharpness to it. The other ones had, I don't know if it was uh, erythritol or sucralose or whatever came through. You don't get that here. Mm -hmm. Maybe a touch drier, but um, given that the original Quest cookies that we've had for a while were not popular, the American ones, they didn't sell so well for us. It was kind of devastating. Uh, these ones have had great feedback so far. Uh, and I think people are going to largely be with me and think this is an improvement. So we've got mm, uh, choc chip, double choc, and peanut butter. Currently, those three have made it back. I haven't heard about oatmeal raisin or snickerdoodle yet. Uh, obviously, no kind of seasonal gingerbread. Hopefully, they will show up as well. But as cookies go, they've got very good nutritionals as well. It is not as big as Lenny and Larry's, but it's a 50 gram cookie. 220 calories, 15 fat. I think that's probably it. The fats going in there have given it a nicer texture. Carbs, just 7.5, of which sugar's 0.6. That's phenomenal. Uh, and the protein, 13 grams. So, yeah, for the nutritionals on it, I think it's really nice. Soft and chewy. Yeah, it isn't that chewy. It's more like actual bait. So I prefer what they've done. And there are massive chips. All of them have big chips in. So that's very cool as well. So just to say, they are back. When you see these on site, don't just move on, you know, click on past it and everything, thinking, oh, I've tried that. They suck. Uh, because I think they have tweaked this. And I think, uh oh, sirens. Yep, again, the busy road coming to, to burn us. Yep, it's driven past, it's ambulance. Um, <laughs> all the drama. Uh, the roads are terrible. I mean, so much rain. Like The UK is underwater at the moment. It's just what you love at Christmas. Um, if you live somewhere else, guys, uh, yeah, don't be jealous of us over here at all. The weather does suck. Uh, and when it's cold here and wet, it's the worst of all because it kind of clings to you. So, yeah, I, I used to live in, I went to university in Montreal. Uh, I went to McGill University there, and they go down to like minus 40, but the cold here at minus 10, I find worse than the cold there at minus 40. Cold at minus 40 burns, but the cold here with the rain, the, the, the humidity, the moisture, whatever it is, it kind of, it just, it, you, you sort of drown in it, it gets through to your bones, so I find it utterly horrible, so I'd almost take snow over this, but anyway, yeah, big diversion, weather sucks. Um, the Quest cookies here, um, worth a try, I'd say. I think we've still got the bundle going on site and the rest, but they're all this formula now, and um, I think if you tried them before, didn't like them, you might like these. Okay, next one, I'm gonna show you this as well. This is an American one. I was desperate to get these in. Bit of a bummer, um, a bit of a bitch trying to import it, but it is the uh, revamped version to Cinnamon roll. Now, I saw this and I thought, oh, they've just added some drizzle. Maybe it's a softer blend or something. Actually, they've done loads more than that, so fair play to you, Quest. This was a, this was a real win. Stepping over bits of cookie on the floor. Um, I think we put this up on the Instagram story, maybe in the email. 
I don't think we actually reposted it, but it is worth mentioning on here because this is arguably my favorite quest bar now of all of them. <coughs> wow. So you've got drizzle, very cool. So it looks a little bit more like a cinnamon bun, like a, a, a fair protein bar pass at the bar on the top there. But the cool thing is they've kind of mashed, meshed. Um, no, I didn't grab one. The new Choc Caramel, the one with the, the caramel and the chunks and everything. The purple bar that I went in on and um, it's had sort of mixed reviews actually, but I loved it. They've, they've kind of taken the old cinnamon roll and they've taken that bar, rammed them together and it's the sort of best of all worlds, I think. So I love cinnamon, cinnamon fiend all the way. So it's got the drizzle on top. You can see here, it's got pockets of caramel, the same as a chocolate caramel bar. Great, that's a win. And underneath, look, you can see it's got chips as well. So I don't know what those chips are. I think on the ingredients they come through as almonds or nuts or something like that. But it's essentially it tastes like white chalk creamy chips. It's got caramel puddles running through it. It's got a creamy cinnamon drizzle on the top and it's a slightly softer bar as well. Pulls apart very easily. The old bar could get super chewy and that old bar has been around for years. That was one of the first Quest bars I ever sold. Mm. Yeah, this one, this one tastes like mm, choppy sweet, creamy white chocolate. Nice warming cinnamon taste to it. It actually tastes like cinnamon buns. I don't know, what do they call it, cinnamon roll? Mm, it really does. So this is fantastic. I mean, I've shared a few of these around saying uh, to people, even in the industry, I haven't tried these and said, you know, give this a go and see what you think. But I said, that's the best bar yet. Um, or one of Quest's best. Oh, I did grab one, there you go, that bar. They've taken the original cinnamon, this bar, rammed them together, but the drizzle, the softer texture, same great nutritionals, puddles of caramel running through it, really nice sweet warming cinnamon thing, the hint of kind of icing on the top, really nice. I mean, up to this point, arguably my favorite cinnamon roll style bar was the one bar. This is so much nicer. Uh, and again, if you see that on site, it's now this bar you're going to get, and you've written this one off before. Mm. Mm. You need to try it, so good. Okay, it's still Quest, it's not coated, and it's not fully caramelly, and it's not a grenade bar, whatever, but for Quest, fantastic bar, great nutritionals, great ingredients. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, oh, more eating. We've done candy, we've done cookies, we've done M&Ms, we've now done a Quest cinnamon roll bar. I'm not gonna open the last bar here, but it's actually the chocolate hazelnut, I grabbed a bar. This is a fairly recent launch in the States. About a year ago, it's going back a flavor or two. Uh, and it was a bit of an anticlimax for me. I'm not a huge fan of hazelnut, I'm not a huge fan of Nutella. It's, it, you know, I know a lot of people absolutely love it. It's not top of the charts for me. When they released this bar, I think the best thing we could say was that it's a very natural hazelnut thing. So it wasn't Nutella, it did taste like chocolate and hazelnuts. And I just found it a bit uninspiring. It's nice enough and it did okay but it was a bit too naturally nutty for me, not why I eat these things by and large. Here, it's still on the natural side. This should say it is a new EU one. This is the latest one launched in Europe on the bar front. And I, I actually think it's an improvement. I found it softer, like more brownie-like. The nuts are in there, but they're less kind of bitter nuts. They're less quite, you know, like bird nutty sort of fresh, like they've been roasted slightly. Yeah, I, just, I was just gonna say in passing, um, fair play to you, Quest EU. This is an improvement, actually, on the American bar. And again, if you had the American one and didn't think much of it, maybe not a bad idea to check this one out again. You may find it's loads better for you. So I, yeah, I just thought it was much, much nicer brownie texture and everything. That's pretty cool. Um, and it's available. The other one was really hard to get, so excellent. Uh, okay, that's foodie stuff done. We've got sups to do. Mm. Uh. It's one of those ones where you're so tired that everything's kind of aching. I've been dragging myself in the gym to try and keep up before the full Christmas carnage commences. But, you know, in the six, seven years I've been doing this, this has probably been the toughest year for me in terms of balancing, uh, you know, getting everything done to a sort of standard I'm happy with for you guys and trying to enjoy Christmas and, you know, not get dead fat over this time of year. Uh, whatever. I'm here. I'm alive. Uh, but it's, um, yeah, it's been our busiest one yet, which is never, never something you should complain about. It's nice to be busy. It's nice to have the orders coming in. I'm suddenly very aware I'm still talking at you with a stupid hat on. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is kind of, uh, by the time you get to Christmas, so much, you know, it's, it's only a few days away. It's like, oh, wow, is it Christmas time already? Because we've, so been, we've been so busy trying to um, keep up with everything here. Well, that's it. That's what happens when you start a business, I suppose. And uh, <laughs> maybe I'll end up with a big pink yacht 
one day out of this, a big pink stripy yacht or something. But yeah, it's um, yeah, it's, it's been fantastic to be so busy. So yeah, I really, I really shouldn't complain. Everyone keeps reminding me that one. Um, where was I going with that? Why did I go on that silly sideline? Ah, I don't know. Anyway, um, those snacks are done. We got shakes. We got sups to do. Where am I at? 34 minutes, so it's going to be a long one. I'll try and keep it from being the longest one. The last one was definitely the longest one. Uh, we have got... Um, uh, okay, yeah, snack um, shake-wise, we'll start with the, the Whey one first. Um, on protein shakes, it's the latest from Yummy Sports. It's another seasonal one. We have got gingerbread. So, yeah, I'll bring it in again because these bags are super kind of fairy tale cute. So these are the new... Um, I don't know if he's doing it in all flavours. I don't know if they're doing it in all flavours, but... Uh, for the seasonal, the special editions, they're trialing these half size bags. So they are 454 grams, that's half a pound, and I think they're like 15 servings, as opposed to 30 servings we usually get from them. Um, we've got cinnamon roll that I've introduced you to already. Uh, that's doing very, very well. We just got that restocked, it's great. And new gingerbread, uh, yeah, got it in just in time for Christmas. I don't know how many bags we're actually going to have a chance to shoot out to people for Christmas, but they're great stocking fillery type things uh, and taste great. So I actually tried this as soon as it came in on Friday and it is very sweet as you'd expect with them and all the, the great hallmarks, the great quality that comes with the isolate that they use in there. These are Canadian products as well. They're really funny about the quality of the dairy and stuff that goes in the ingredients. So you know you're getting a great product even if the packaging looks wacky. Um, but the, the actual gingerbread is more understated than I expected. Uh, so I thought this would be a really fiery one. It's not. I mean, the, the one last year that came in teeny little five serving bags we had as a bit of a novelty uh, was quite a different flavor. So same level of sweetness, but I think certain things have been reined back in a little bit here and the flavoring is not that aggressive at all. It's actually very drinkable. You can actually have this year round. So I hope um, they actually make it a year round one. So it's just a little seasonal one for now, uh, but um, yeah, it's mainly sweet. It tastes like sort of gingerbread candies more than it does actually fiery gingerbread. But they're in the mix now as well. Okay, next one on shakes. This is jumping over from dairy to dairy free. We have got the latest from our buddies at Ghost Lifestyle. Uh, it's a funny one for Christmas. Banana pancake batter is the flavor. Um, so again, usual cute labels on these. This is joining, we've just posted it on Instagram. This is joining pancake batter. So it shares a lot of similarities with that. And uh, the original peanut butter cereal milk vegan that has been a smash bestseller in the mix since the year dot. Um, this one, it takes the same, it's sweet, yes, it takes the same subtly spiced base from the pancake batter, which has been very popular because it's very flexible. So if people want to put it in oats or use it as a base in other smoothies and things, as a, as a vegan shake, a lot of folks do that. They like to add it in with other things. Uh, it works really well for that because there is that subtle spicing, but it's basically just a kind of hearty, warming sweetness that goes with it. Some of the customers have come back describing it as biscuity to me and I can see what they mean. It's, it's got a great smooth texture. It mixes really well, but there is, there is that kind of plant-based protein thickness to it. I mean, it, it like um, kind of savory edge. I mean, you, you don't want to be, uh, <coughs> you don't want to depreciate it at all because it's, it's such a wonderful job they've done with it. The very unique blend with the watermelon seed protein and everything in there. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, you do know it's a dairy-free shake, but Ghosts have done wonders with the flavors to make it very enjoyable regardless. And actually kind of pulled out its strengths um, as a dairy-free shake. I mean, the good things about it, rather than trying to hide it and make it like a dairy, like a whey one, they've actually sort of embraced the plant-based thing and, and chosen flavors that complement it very nicely. And so you see, know, they are very popular for us. I don't know, all the ghost stuff's popular, but this one, pancake batter has probably been the most universal one. If you don't like peanut butter, you're probably not gonna like the peanut butter cereal milk one. But this one, it just adds a very, very full-bodied and kind of ripe banana taste to it that hits you first out the gate. And then there's the, the smooth, sweet, kind of brown sugar, slightly spiced undertone that comes from the pancake batter. So yeah, it, it's almost like a slightly summery spin on the, the pancake batter flavor. And obviously it ain't summer, but as we uh, kind of joked in the post, it gives you uh, kind of um, the, the Jack, um, Jack Johnson chilling on the beach sort of vibes. That's quite nice, but it's also, it's quite autumnal, quite hearty, quite warming. The same kind of, it basically comes across as um, banana maple French toast. You, you get a sort of um, like Bernie toasty baked kind of satisfaction from the this in the background. Then the, the sweet banana flavor that's sitting over the top. And it, yeah, it just, it meshes 
is really well. So it's a fairly unusual flavor addressed in, so, you know, certainly in vegan it is, but it all complements very, very nicely. And it's nice to have something new from them just in time for, well, the end of the year and obviously kicking off the loads of new stuff coming from them in the year ahead. That is in the mix now in all our ghost stacks and bundles and things. Vegan has been hit pretty hard because they've been out of stock on their own site here in the UK. Stock is due back in imminently, but we have just a few tubs left on the other flavors as well. So you can obviously stack them in the double bundle and get a better deal on the rest. Um, and there you go, there you go. So uh, another enjoyable one from Ghost, I'm sure it'd be super popular. Okay, <sighs> where are we at? We'll stick with sups, we'll do one more here. This is G Fuel, boom. Have I picked up the right flavor? I absolutely haven't picked up the right flavor. That is super embarrassing. Um, hang on, have I got the right one here? No, I haven't, I've gone, I'm, this is how out of it I am. Um, basically, let's just pretend, I don't think we were smart enough to put any up here. Did we? We did not. This is great. This is how well organized we are. Trying to keep the wheels on. Uh, I'm waving around Phaseberry. This is another collab flavor from them. Sort of appropriate because that's what we're doing here. Uh, we did just get the Sour Pixel Potion. That's the grape one here. And we did get the original Blue Ice flavor. So that's a kind of blue raspberry, blue lemonade flavor. Uh, they're in the mix now. What we did just get, taking a long time to come in, is the official PewDiePie flavor. So this is wild lingonberry, basically. What's a lingonberry? I'm not so sure. It, it's a kind of uh, like a tart berry. That, that's the flavor that comes across from it. It's quite refreshing. It's quite nice. Uh, but the lingonberry technique is it's a very Swedish, um, uh, traditional Swedish berry. And it, it's used by them in place of cranberries, as far as I can make out. So the, the fruit itself is a lot like a cranberry. It's kind of like a small hard berry, fairly, very tart. Fairly tart, fairly distinctive, uh, but again, he's Swedish and that, that's uh, lending his kind of um, uh, an homage to him to the uh, rather massive, actually, G Fuel flavor range. PewDiePie, uh, massive YouTuber, was like the most watched one for years and years, most followed guy on YouTube for years and years. I think he's just announced he's actually stepping down in 2020. I think I read that. But um, yeah, the, the guy is um, kind of notorious in a good and a bad way. Uh, but of course, he's got his own G Fuel flavor and he's got loads of, yeah, loads of other stuff he does. But in terms of G Fuel, uh, we did just get his PewDiePie flavor and that's it. <laughs> it's available on site right now, uh, along with a restock on KSI's flavor, the strawberry banana. That did quite well, maybe on the back of the boxing fight he just won. Um, but uh, yeah, they're all in there now. And um, <laughs> that's about it. I think we've still got some stickers as well. So uh, we got some PewDiePie stickers. So if uh, you order one of his tubs, you will we'll give you one of the sort of red stickers we got. Again, I should have had it in hand to wave at you and show you, but that's in the mix as well. We'll, we'll, we'll be promoting the three flavors all at once, probably on Instagram. Uh, it might slip to next year now, or at least next week. But um, yeah, we wanted to mention they were in. Okay, now we've done snacks, shakes. We've done sups, kind of, ish, wrong. <laughs> um, we have also got these. I can't remember if I actually told you about these on here. How are we doing for time? We're doing okay. Um, but we did the post online, it was very well received. Loads of these have gone out. I thought they'd be good gifts and they were. So I was actually right, the guys were like, what are you doing wasting your money on those? Uh, but yeah, they have proved very popular. So blender bottle, obviously very good quality shakers. Uh, I mean, there's not a lot of magic to them. I mean, there's more there's more finesse in these than you'd think, but they're just sturdy shakers, BPA free, washable and the rest. But they're, they're very, um, they have a leak proof guarantee. I'm not sure how they follow through on that, but they, they do put that all over their website and their marketing. Um, and uh, yeah, very, very sturdy. Uh, the lids are very, yeah, they're not gonna pop off as well. So the lids stay on these things. You won't have the liquid flying everywhere. Each of them comes with the iconic blender ball. So boom, there you go. A little wire whisk thing that goes inside. Uh, truth be told, uh, any decent quality shake, I think you shouldn't really need a blender ball at all. Um, so if you lose that and just shake it up, it should do the job just fine, uh, unless you've got a rubbish shake. Uh, we test all of ours to make sure they actually work like that. Failing that, I mean, I just use a fork in the thing. Um, but uh, yeah, they probably just get lobbed away first and foremost by most people. Uh, great, I mean, all, you know, those of huge brands use blender bottles for their things. Uh, indeed, do we have any around here? No, we don't, I'm disorganized again. Ghost with their official shakers, it's Blender Bottle all the way. So when they do their seasonal styles and everything, their, their shaker of the month, all made by Blender Bottle with their awesome logos on it. Um, anyway, from Blender Bottle, we have got their own shake, uh, shakers they do. Um, they've got a Just For Fun range, which is very much us, and I had to get them in. So a bit of a fight, and they end up coming from Germany, weirdly. But um, we have got Kale Yeah, for example. Very good fun there, one for vegans. Um, we've got Frosty the Swole Man. This one is in their, uh, their sh like, what do they call them? 
colour of the month type thing. So it's, it's, this is in their Christmas range, basically the holiday series. Um, and these are actually the Classic Bottles V2, I think they call them. The new Classic. It's got a slightly, I don't know, I don't know what they've done here. I'm not sure why they've, done, they've got a, a kind of different um, curve going around the lid there. And it's got a circular bottom. So as you can see that there, it's the idea is so the powder doesn't get into the corners. So uh, it, yeah, it can't clump up in that way, which it, to be fair, is pretty annoying, so it's nice if they solve that one. But yeah, some of the Christmas ones have the, the bottle ones. So the ones, the Shaker of the Month ones have those. And then uh, I think the Just for Fun are the classic ones. Oh no, that's curved as well. Hey, maybe they're all that, there you go. Um, so we've got Frosty the Swan Man, Kale Yeah. There's a few, you have to check on site. We did a whole post on it. There's Bay Golds. I didn't get this at first, but it's, it's Bagels. And then Bay, like love, and yep, yeah, very cute. <laughs> um, uh, what we got, Oh Snap. We have to show you this one, I love this one. So yeah, again, holiday series. There's a gingerbread man with a broken leg. Um, what else have we got? There's a pie lattes one. Um, so it's got a pie on it and then that's gonna fall. Uh, lattes, so Pilates, ha 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 ha. And we've got a, I think this might actually be the last one. We've got a ugly sweater, Christmas sweatery type thing, the holiday series one. So it's got that kind of traditional cringe design pattern on it. Very nice, very distinctive, very good stocking fillers and the rest. So if you're strapped for ideas and you see this, you've probably just got time to order if you want to get on and do DPD. Oh, okay. Where are we at? 45 minutes according to this. That might be more or less than it is. But that more or less covers everything I wanted to talk about now. Um, no, it doesn't. Uh, a few more things here. Um, our old friends at Skinny Food Co. have been up to the usual tricks. So their seasonal range, all 10, 11, 12 flavors, whatever it was, that's all in the mix now and has been doing very nicely. The Amaretto is great, the Hazelnut Praline, really good. Big fans of that one in particular. Um, they've launched three new flavors in their sauces uh, to end the year. So not much fanfare here. We didn't even know they were coming, but we've got brown sauce, we've got hollandaise, Never seen that done, diety before, and honey barbecue. I think Walden's always had a honey barbecue that, to be fair, was quite popular. Uh, brown sauce, very much more Britishy one, uh, and so I'm sure they'll do great. Hollandaise, I haven't actually tried this yet. I have had Hollandaise along with kind of, you know, posh breakfasts and, um, you know, breakfast at like coat and things like that. It's a very kind of traditional Frenchy thing, the Hollandaise. Uh, the holiday sauce you'd get on poached eggs and things. Um, very nice, very, very rich, very, very traditionally bad for you. Uh, so we'll have to see how they've done with that one there. It looks a hell of a lot like the custard or the white chocolate, but hopefully it doesn't taste like that. Flavor sauce with sweetener. <coughs> yeah, all vegan as well anyway, goes with that. Uh, I've no doubt the honey barbecue and the brown sauce will do well. Or well, my kicks. Um, but they're in the mix now as well. Uh, we may do a post for them, probably not. There's so many other ones on there at the moment. Uh, but yeah, if you jump on, they're in the flavor options. Um, fill your boots. What else? Well, we got some restocks. Um, we got some Alani back. So we got confetti cake. We have got fruity cereal. That proved insanely popular. Very good one from them. Uh, we've got blueberry muffin. We've got peanut butter brownie. We are still waiting for the vegan to come back. We did get one flavor of the pump back in. I think we've got all flavors of the, nearly all flavors of the pre-workout and the BCAA. Now we've got a really big relaunch coming up. We're gonna put some bundles up on site along with samples and free shakers. We're just working out that now, waiting for the big delivery to come in. Uh, but the big exciting one there, and I think most of you guys are gonna love, even if you're not into the slightly girly supplements, uh, they have got their energy drinks coming in. These are quite strong for what they are. Fantastic fantastic flavors. They've done incredibly well at GNC in the States. They are coming to the UK. They are on the way. Back end of January, they'll be coming in. I think that's going to be a great way to bring people into the brand. And I'm sure lots of people will go with that, even if they're not yeah, looking at the subs, but it's, it's a lovely way in. And um, they've just got like a cosmic stardust flavor they've just launched as well. Looks fantastic. We tried the mimosa we really enjoyed. Uh, yeah, fantastic range. They are coming too. So obviously, yeah, we are the um, kind of home of energy drinks. A little bit over here, um, mainly because we live off them. Uh, and I've been looking forward to those ones for a while. And when I took the supplements on, I was really hoping we'd get them. They are coming. Uh, what else? Um, any more deliveries for the end of the year? Probably not. That's about it from us. Uh, we are waiting still on the outright bars, the vegan outright bars. I'm really gutted. That's probably my biggest disappointment of December. I've been waiting ages and ages for those. That's Mark's outright bars here. Boom. Um, that have been one of the big success stories of the year, not only for us, but so globally. He's doing great with us in the States. I think he's just going to vitamin shop and, um, or was it vitamin well? He's got somewhere. Um, vitamin shop, that's it. And um, the vegan ones have swapped the honey uh, and obviously the whey isolate for, I think, pea protein and for 
Uh, maple, so maple, very cool, big fan of maple. Can't wait to try them. Forgetting the dairy-free thing, they should taste amazing. They're still the same great ingredients in there. And uh, we were promised them well, weeks ago. We actually should have had them for Black Friday just before then. Just didn't happen. So I think what, what happened behind the scenes is Mark sold out too quickly in the States and they couldn't share them with the UK importers who then couldn't pass them to us. So boo-hoo, very, very disappointing. Uh, ditto with the toffee flavor. And he's actually just launched a um, peppermint bark cookies and cream over in the States. So yeah, we, we, we aren't gonna see any of these for a little bit now, but hopefully two weeks, three weeks, whatever, they'll turn up some point in January and we can do a big launch on those. So around about now, with that in mind, we're going to start stockpiling launches for the new year. Uh, we pulled off most of the stuff we wanted to achieve uh, in 2019. Uh, so for 2020, um, a few biggies. Uh, I guess the big eventy type thing we've got here um, is body power. So are you, if you're a regular watcher of these, these long videos, uh, you might remember months back, uh, probably after Body Power in May, I said we were looking, we were thinking about rebooking it. Uh, well, I've done it. I actually pulled the trigger on that one uh, six weeks ago, eight weeks ago. I haven't really done anything about it since. I need to get my head back into that because I think May is going to rush up on us in no time at all. And we really want to do a great job there. So we're going to have to get on planning very quickly. Um, yeah, we did pull the trigger. So we will be there. So if you regularly go to Body Power in Birmingham in May, uh, we will um, look forward to seeing you there. And um, yeah, I don't know who else is going to be there at the moment. Ghost will probably make another appearance. That'll always be good fun as well. But we'll be taking Sour Strips, certainly. Uh, we'll be taking Yummy Sports. We'll probably be taking 3D Energy. We'll be taking... Uh, outright Bars, probably, if they're there. We'll be taking PES. I mean, all, all the usual stuff we do. Uh, we will take there. Yes, we still have the shop, and that was always kind of what's the point of paying for this and doing that. If you want to meet us, we are here. Um, but yeah, it's a very good central location to meet and greet people. Uh, loads of you guys have been shopping us for years and years and years, and yeah, we've never met you, we've never had a proper conversation, or we haven't seen you for years since maybe the last time we did Body Power. Forget whatever else happens at the show, forget the value of it, forget the brands that turn up, forget the events that happen. It's still a good meeting point. So, a huge part of this kind of fitness industry broadly speaking, go there, descend on Birmingham for those three days, even if it's for one day for the weekend, whatever it may be, it's a good opportunity to meet and greet while we're there. And I'd love to, um, yeah, just, just say hi after all the years I've been doing this and so many of you buying and blah, 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 blah. And uh, to introduce you um, still more to some of the great things we do. And you can meet some of the team as well. So Millie, Henry, Marcus, I mean, yeah, we'll have to see. I'm going to have to find, I think, more staff to kick into the new year because we've been spread a little bit thin back end of this year with the busyness. But yeah, that's happening. So look forward to that and look forward to more about that on our social media and everything as we can start promoting it now. Christmas out of the way. Uh, we have got, uh, what new brands? We'll be doing a lot more with Alani. There's a lot more coming from Ghost. Um, we've got some new SKUs coming from PES, so it's been a bit quiet on that front of late, uh, but um, I've just been told about new flavors they are bringing out, a couple of new so like quirky products are coming out, and obviously we'll hopefully get the mint cookie back. Where are we at? Ah, need to stop. Um, <sighs> what other stuff? More from Swalsom. We're already looking at new seasonal flavors. The Christmas range has done great. There are a few nutty and nice available on site now. So if you want them, last chance, jump on immediately when you see this. Hopefully they'll still be there. There's some gingerbread left. They'll be holding a little bit longer. The Happy, the, the mince pie bar, that's long gone. Unfortunately, we've seen the last of those. Uh, but we've got some new flavors we're already talking about with her. And uh, yeah, she's going from strength to strength. So it's great to see that as well. It's a good success story for Swalsom 2019. Um, and we We've got, um, oh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. We're going to have to do a separate video. In terms of the videos, I want to keep doing them. I want to perhaps bring the other guys into doing it as well. I'd like to get Millie doing these a little bit more. Uh, we're going to work them into the site a little bit better. I need to I do some sort of Q&A things with you guys. I might be arrogant to me to think that you actually have any questions to pitch at me, but um, as you have probably realized, I'm very happy to talk about this stuff. I'm very passionate about this stuff, but I've just, I've not really found the medium or indeed the time to do it. I should probably get into doing Q&A things or live um YouTube stuff, that could be good fun to play with. Wow, whatever, we'll see. Anyway, that's enough for me. That's so much of enough for me uh, for 2019. Thank you so much for watching again. I've just managed to stop this being another hideously long, well, it is long, but not as long as the last one. Um, bunch of new stuff on site. Check out just arrived. As always, there is a chance to still get stuff for Christmas. If you uh, trust DPD, uh, jump on before about two o'clock. We'll try and keep it open until three o'clock if we can. Get as much out as possible on the uh, Monday. If you use some of the other carries, you may also get your goodies, but choose DPD if it's really, really important. And hopefully they don't let us all down. Um, and then that's it. We are open most of the days through uh, to New Year. 
Uh, I think New Year's Eve is the only one where we're taking a little bit of a break and we're not opening the shop or shipping online, but we'll be shipping on and off in between and then we'll kick in again January 2nd, January 3rd, whatever it is, back to full strength and we'll get ready for another year. So on that, have an amazing, amazing Christmas, guys. All the best for a fantastic year ahead. Enjoy family, food, friends, fun, everything that you should do around this festive time of year. And uh, yeah, we will catch you in 2020 and the next weekly roundup. Bye for now and thanks for watching.